Hello, YouTube. I'm Benny Badabucci. <clears throat> How you doing? Welcome back to another NHL 21 expansion franchise mode here with the Wisconsin Cheese Curds. And, uh, we're about to take on the Nashville Predators at Nashville. Battle for first place in the division. Okay? Because Dallas has seemingly forgotten how to play hockey and win. Uh, Winnipeg has moved up and so has Colorado. I mean... There was more games this season. Dallas was seriously in danger of falling out. And St. Louis getting in. Well, okay, never mind. St. Louis forgot to play hockey as well. But <clears throat> everybody's locked in for ours. And only one spot up for grabs during the Pacific. But, um, yeah. Anyways, here, though, 95 and 96 points, man. I got to say, we only got three games left. So this is game 80. And then I also play game 81 next game. And then the playoffs. Um... But yeah, I, I just, I feel like whoever wins it, like if we win this, uh, she might be able to win it a bit. It doesn't mean, I mean we will, because we still got two games left. We could totally tank them both, and then Nashville, all they have to do is win one, you know? Or like lose twice in overtime, and they get right ahead of us. But Nashville wins, yeah, I think they really get the division. So this is more for us, but it's, you know, like Nashville could totally still get in and win. Um, but for us, it's like, this is a must win. So, I mean, I don't, it doesn't matter to me if we win or lose this game, honestly. Like, we don't need to finish first in the division all the time. So, um, one thing is that we won't win the President's Trophy. That's for sure. It looks like it's going to be Washington. So, um, yeah. Our third game against them. And as much as I like to see all that stuff, what do they got for that reverse retro? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was afraid it was that, but no, 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 no. No, it's that one. Perfect. Perfect, dude. I love it. I like the old design, too, but, dude, the yellow one, man, I think might even be better. I don't know. <clears throat> this is the first time I'm going to see it on ice, though, I think. So, let's do it, man. Nashville Predators. So, uh, UC Saros won another game, and then Brayden Holpe finally ended his massive losing streak of, like, five, six, seven games. And you, you can see him right there. UC Saros is in that against his old team. I thought it would have been very fitting. Because this is, you know, for the division against his old team. Try to prove him wrong, UC, for letting you go, for leaving you on there. He's 13-8-1, started out 8-8-1, mind you. He's on a five-game winning streak right now. And uh, they got Pecorine. And I love me some Pecorine, you know. But uh, more than I like, actually, you know, UC Saros. But UC Saros has been doing really well. Really, really well. And it looks like he's going to be our starter for the playoffs. You know, it could also be like a Hopi thing, right? With like whole, you know, like with Grubauer and then, you know, Hopi, it might lead him to take us to the cup. Who knows? You know, we could lose like the first two games, put in Hopi and boom. Just come all the way back and go on that type of run. Speaking of, I was going to say a Cinderella run. No, a Cinderella run is what the Montreal Canadiens are doing. Holy shit. The Montreal Canadiens are going to the Stanley Cup. Like, I know this is going to be... Like, two months after the fact, like I said, the cup will be over. Trust me. We'll, we might even be, you know, like, the NFL season is going to be, you know, the preseason will already be started. But like, this is my honest-to-God reaction of, you know, the, the same night that they, they won against Vegas. And just, holy shit, the Montreal Canadiens are going to be in the Stanley Cup. Like, I, I can't fucking believe it. I, I can't, man. It's, but good for them. I'm so happy for them and their people, you know, their fan base. Like, honestly, if you're a Canadiens fan, you deserve it. Like, honestly, like, you guys are so nice all the time, you know? I, I guess it's like that's where the stereotypical good Canadians come in, you know? I know not every Canadian is a nice person. Every country, every type of race and breed all have assholes, but, like, no, you guys legit deserve it, man. Like, you're, you're always so nice. But, anyways, I'll be right back, guys. Sorry. Okay, guys, I am back. I apologize about that. Yeah, why not get the third defense? Actually, no, get the first defensive pair out. First defensive pair. 
Fourth line. No, second line. Second line. Oh boy. Nice save by Saros. <clears throat> okay, now we'll go with the third defensive pair. But yeah, Ryan Strom leads our team in points. Got 75 points, man. He is up to an 85 overall now. The people that I know that have grown so far was him. Went from an 84 to an 85. Sam Bennett and I believe it was Andrew Kopp went from an 80 to an 81. Or... Okay, just stay in for now. We gotta get the puck first. Okay, now we can get that fourth line in. Fourth line. Third defensive pair. Fourth forward line. Okay. Sam Bennett, and I believe it was either Lucas Walmark and Sam Bennett, or it was Sam Bennett and Andrew Kopp. Pretty sure it was Kopp and Bennett because they had Walmark in the second line because he was an 81. But uh, the, either way, they're all 81s now. Bennett and Copper and Walmart, they're all 81 overall now. And who else was it? Uh, uh, Mikhail Sergachev went up. When I got him, he was an 84 overall. 21-year-old medium elite. And now he's 22, still medium elite. And he's now, and I remember he went up to an 85. He's now an 86 overall. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Now I just need to get Taylor Hall and Line A to go up. Patrick Line A. They're still 88 and 87. But I'm sure they will during the offseason. That's when they'll grow. I don't know about Taylor Hall. But Patrick Line A definitely because he's 22. So he's got to go up. That's just, you know, how it works. Third line. Okay, there's one. There's two. And there's three. Hurry, hurry. Whoa, nice save by Saros. Nice save. Okay. I mean, we got eight minutes left, so yeah, good time to bring in the second defensive pair. But yeah, seriously though, man, Montreal and their fans, like finally somewhere good, like a team gets into a championship and like I'm just so, so happy for them. I really am. Like nothing against Vegas, but it's been 28 years for Montreal. It's oh, here we go. It's a Cinderella feel-good story. And they're just, I, I mean, there hasn't been enough of it. I mean, the Stanley Cup lately, yeah. We had the Caps that won their first ever cup, and then the St. Louis Blues the year after. You know, and then Tampa Bay was a feel-good story for them last year, too. Now, this year, if they go again, eh, you know, but it'd be more, it would be even better if it was, like, the Islanders in Montreal because it's like, damn, two teams very thirsty for a Stanley Cup. So, but we'll see. I don't know. I got a feeling Tampa Bay will win it, but, <clears throat> you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll, we will see. Okay. I got to bring out the third defensive pair. Third defensive pair. Okay, while well, they're changing, fourth line. Fourth line, shit. I brought that second line out. I I brought the second out, man. I didn't mean to bring the second out before. I got so carried away with the conversation. Yeah, that was my bad. Okay, now bring out the first defensive pair. First defensive pair. Nice shot. Third line. They were like, I know the first line's probably like, wait, what the fuck? Are we going to get it? It's like, yes, I promise. And as soon as he gets it, matter of fact, you guys are coming in right now. Go first line. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Come Sergachev. Oh, get back, Sergachev. And they should be good. Yeah, especially the first forward line, they should be more than fine. Uh, till the end of the period. Actually, I could change the defensive pair. Come on. Oh, I was hoping Line A would score. By the way, he's got, uh, last time I told you, he had 20, 31. He's got 24. He has two goals and assists in the last three games. So he's got three points in three games. Dude, Booch Nevich has eight goals with us. He had five coming in, and he's got eight. He's got eight with us, man, in, like, so many less games. And he's got 20 points already. He had 25 points with the Rangers. I'm like, finally, a player that's actually doing better with us than they were on their other team. One time, our... Oh my god, Line A. What a stop by Rene. Is right. Now this one I could see being, you know, kind of scoreless with, you know, Saros doing pretty good and, and Pekka Rene. You know, we know how good he is. But, uh, alright guys, I'll be back. We'll start the second period right away.
considerable amount of time. Tries to feed it over to Yarko. Aaron pass and the play is broken up. Duchesne's taking it from his own end. Oh, great little takeaway at center. Here he is in front. Scores! The captain comes through! Okay, guys, I'm back. Woohoo! Let's go. Taylor Hall with his 36th goal of the season. We only got three games left, but he's a goal behind Liney. I swear to God they're having a competition between them both. Like, damn. I'm kind of thinking maybe it would have been better if I put one of them on a different line, right? Because they're both scoring a lot of goals, and maybe it'd be more productive if I put one on the second line. Like, not as a, like a demotion to them, but it could beef up the scoring. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like move, move uh, Buchnevich up to the first line because he's been doing so good and then move line a down to the uh okay nope you guys gotta stay out sorry whoa get it get it get it i mean stay i don't know why they were okay everybody change especially that first line yes please oh my god they're so red fuck and just like that, Nashville ties it up. Damn. Dante Fabro? Never heard of him. Damn. Well, anyways, there's the goal. Yeah. Second line. Still the first defensive pair. Okay. I saved there still with the first defensive pair. Okay. Well, we need to win the face-off, though. Benino versus Cop. Ooh, or... No, yeah, it'd be better to move Buchnevich up than Johansson. Although Marcus Johansson's been on fire. Oh, there's the scripting, yep. I should have known they were going to do it real quick like a boom-boom. I should have known that. God forbid we have anything nice with the little one nothing lead. It, it was it's been too long since they've done it, you know? It it had eventually I knew there was gonna be a game. It was either gonna be this one or the next one where it was gonna script it and do its typical, you know, one, two. Oh my god, they almost did three. They got those two goals in less than a minute. So this is not looking good, man. Don't make me put Hopi in. He would have gave it up there. I would have put Hopi in. That's a guarantee. Oh my god. And you leave a breakaway. Okay, get that third line out. Okay. Third line out. I get back. The second defensive pair out. Oh. And we're going on the penalty kill now? Alright, well, they're rested anyway, so. Who got the penalty, man? Because here we go with the uh, with the scripting. I know, it's like somebody probably... I, I know, uh, there's got to be at least somebody out there but if they watch it or whatever. Or maybe it's everybody, I don't know. But they're, th you know, thinking... It's like, oh, yeah, there he goes complaining. Every time he loses, he says it's scripting. It's like... No, it's not every time I lose, but it's like you can tell when it's being scripted. You know, they, they have it scripted in there that the opponents get two goals like that under a minute. It happens every now and then, you know. Oh, my God, come on. Oh, my God, we actually scored on a fucking breakaway. That was Vince Dunn, wasn't it? The defenseman. Oh, we watching this, dude. However, man, we don't get to see. Oh, my God, it was. His fourth goal of the season, and it comes shorthanded. Him and Dermott, you know, have, like, kind of almost competed with assists. And, and they both all had, like, three goals, and Dunn has been really catching up with the assist. I was like, damn, I might move him up to the second. And when I looked at the stats from the previous years, he really should have been on the second. He is... Uh, as far as stats goes, he was better the uh, better defenseman than Dermott. And I was like, okay, well, next season he'll be on the second line, unless, like, his overall is lower. But there we go, man. And Bennett and Zadorov with the assist. Good. Zadorov needs him badly. And so does Bennett. Like, so that was really good. Okay. There we go. Change it up. Okay. Oh, yeah. First for both. Duh. 
Well, how about that? That penalty that Walmart took actually worked out for us because we scored shorthanded to tie the game at two. That's good so far. Damn. But, yeah, I mean, I don't mean to always complain about the scripting, but it's like you can just tell when it happens. When we lose, it's like, oh, I get mad, whatever, but. Oh, my God. Damn, could you imagine if we would have fucking scored that? Damn, I just imagined. Oh, wow, there was a guy that was in here that wasn't supposed to be in there. Hope he wasn't on the first lane. Okay. Uh-oh, here we go. We got a fight. Nashville players injured. I don't know who it is. We got Dermot. I was just talking about him, too. He's getting his butt whooped. I can't... Is that Fab Fabry? I don't know, but he about to lose this fight, though. Oh, he's starting to come back. Nah, he... he, he one more punch, he's done. One more, he's done. Nope. Two more. Oh, wait. Hold on. There it is. No. Nope. There it is. I'm like, damn, dude, you gonna put my guy down or what? You hit him, I don't know how many fucking times. Who was that? Was that Robbie Fabry? Bro, I don't even know who the fuck that was. No, I don't think that... Oh, Fabro again, the guy that scored. They went and they got his 10th goal this season. Yeah, okay. Man, I like these uniforms, though. Not as much as I like the original blue ones, though. I will admit. Yeah, we'll leave the first out just for a short bit of time. All right, bring out the second defensive pair. Okay, never mind. Second defensive pair. We'll keep it in the first line for now. But we lose this face off, then it's like... Straight up, like, third line. Maybe second. Second line. Actually, third line. Third line. Get back, get back, get back. Whew. Okay. Damn, I gotta get that third defensive pair out. I can't call them out when they're like this. Okay, fuck it. Bad idea, I know. Just do it, done. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Nice hit, done. Done. You gotta get out, though. Wait, no, he's on the third line. Never mind. Third, Yeah, third defensive pair. Oh, my God. Fourth line. Hustle back, guys. Hustle back. Good job. Defenseman. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there it is. Okay. We'll go with the second line, though, man. Uh, Miko Koivu. Oh, damn, I didn't even know he was still playing. I had no idea he was still playing. Only a sixth goal of the season, man. Wait, we'll go for him, though. <laughs> okay. Get the second defensive pair out. We got an injured player, don't we? Because, like... Dunn's out. I don't know. I'm confused. Because did you see that? Like, the second line was already losing something. Let me see. No. No, I was right. Them two were out there. I don't know why the second line was going down. But, okay. Second defensive pair. And second forward line. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, this, this is a pretty high scoring game. This is where I need my goal scorers to come in. The last game that Hopi won, we won 7-5. to five. <laughs> I'm like, damn, dude. Like, why why when I'm watching, we never get that? I mean, we've given up three, but it's like, are we going to score more than three or even three? I don't know. I got to change the defenseman. Get the fourth line out. Oh, God. Where's my defenseman? Oh, thank God. Whoa. Go. First pair of defensemen. First pair of defensemen. Okay. First pair of... Whoa. See, now look at the second. What the fuck? And the first forward line. Yeah, they're they're more than ready to go. Can you believe they still ain't even completely ready yet? Man, our face-offs are terrible this game. I mean, we do pretty good. We won that one, though, because we had the first line. In. Nice shot. Come on, we need another goal. I don't want us going back down by two. Let's try to tie this up. There we go. Come on. Oh. 
Damn. Nice hit. Couldn't keep it in, though. Ah. I ain't changing. You ain't changing no line. Yeah. We'll stick with the first. We need to win that first. Or the face off, I mean. Saros has got 10 saves and 13 shots. Yeah, not a good performance. See? It's like, eh. It's alright. I know you guys are super tired, but uh, you'll be alright. Oh, nice hit. Oh. Oh, my God. No goal. He's saying no goal. No goal for what, though? Yeah, we'll go with the second, and I'll go with the fourth. He's saying goal goalie interference. Why? Because uh, Saros couldn't defend it. Did he get pushed? Let's see. Oh. Okay, I guess. Hey, if he wants to say no goal, I'm all for it, man. I'm all for it. Thank you. But, I don't know, I didn't really see, it seemed like he kind of moved in time to where, like, he could have made a save, but, hey, whatever. I'm not going to complain. We're not down by two. I was about to say I'm going to put Hopi in the next period. I still might. I don't know. Anyways, I'll be back to start the third period. Well, I think we'll start with Sauros and see where it goes from here. He gives up one more than Hopi's coming in. I'll be back, guys. All right, I'm back. What a surprise. Here comes the fucking... Now, this is what I mean about the script thing now. Now, now we got two guys in there. Yeah, yeah we're, we're done. <coughs> yeah, now we got a five on three. Yeah, Andrew Cop's taking the face-offs now. Unbelievable. It's a long five on three as well. Dump it. Dump it. All right, get both the seconds out. And you go, Bennett. Hurry. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Right now it's a five on two. There we go. Yeah, both the seconds out. Who's taking the faceoffs now? Bennett. Yeah. I don't know why it says he's a left winger. He's not. He's a center. Bro, I don't know how he didn't score there. I apologize for the burp, by the way. I, I, I Sometimes I just can't help it, man. I, oh, my God. Do you see what I mean now? Now it's fucking scripting it. Now this is scripting. You can't tell me it's not. You can't fucking tell me it's not. Now I got three guys in the motherfucking box. Yeah, a five on three for how long? 58 seconds, really? It seems like it's even longer after we just took another one. This is what I mean now. Penalty after penalty. You know you're going to score. There it is. That's And it's waved off again because he was like literally right in the fucking crease while my goalie was, you know, spread eagle. It was stupid. That's two goals taken away from Nashville. That's okay. I'm already in the third period. You know, like normally this is when I would be like, fuck it after all those penalties and I wouldn't upload it. And now you know why. Because it's just like, it's so unfair because you guarantee my team to lose. So, you know. Go. There you go. Yeah, but aren't we still in a five on three after that though? Because there's three guys in the box. 
No, it just says a regular power play. I don't know. I don't get it. And here comes the goal. Nope. Good job. There you go. Okay, get the second defensive pair out. And we'll go with the second line. Seconds for both. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. W again, where were my defensemen? Dude, I don't even know how he didn't score there. The penalty. Like, I know what's going to happen. What did I just say? Oh, it was on them. Well, how about that? Why are my first defense? What? First line. And go with the third defensive pair, I guess. Makes no fucking sense. I don't know why the first defensive pair was hurting. Nice shot by line A. Man, I knew we were going to get dominated this period because of the, you know, the shots or whatever. But this is ridiculous, you know? What's up, good Nash? No, I'm just kidding. I know it's Nash. Bro, and these fucking penalties are making this so much longer. But I'm playing it just to show you guys, you know, like I did with the one. Well, I didn't even know about all that scripting bullshit, you know? So, yeah. Okay, go with the second. Okay, so now it's our power play. I'm sure we'll take a penalty soon to make sure we don't get much of one. Okay, second defensive pair. Okay, we're going to keep that second in. As soon as we lose it, we'll get the first line in for the power play. Is that Sam Bennett? Why is he out there? Bennett, get the fuck out. You're not on the... Oh, wait, yes, he is. <laughs> Get the, get the first line out. There you go. Mm. And that'll do that for the power play. Thank goodness it's over. First line. Oh, third defensive pair. Third defensive pair. Because now i got to be really good with the, the lines now, you know. Second line. Come on, get it. No, don't... Uh. Okay, good. Hopefully no more penalties so I can focus on doing these lines now. Get the second defensive pair in. Third line. The defenseman can handle him. Told ya. Okay. First line, or first defensive pair. I've seen one change and there's two. Okay. Go with the fourth line. Might be able to do one more first. But then I really got to save him. Oh boy, I got to really save up that defensive pair. Might have to take a timeout though. To be fair. Oh, jeez. I just changed the defenseman too. Son of a bitch. Hit the post again. All right, third defensive pair. Yeah, first forward line. They only got two games left versus Florida and at Ottawa. We just played a Florida game. We don't have to play Ottawa, though. We got to play uh, uh, home against Chicago next game. And then I believe at Pittsburgh for our final game. First line's still good. Go with the second defensive pair. Second forward line. Okay, third defensive pair. Ugh. No, just stay out, actually. Fourth line. Oh, jeez. First defensive pair. What? There we go. Oh, I was going to say, we're good. we can use a timeout here. First line. I'm going to just pray for a timeout. Oh, my God. Come on, we need a stoppage. I need a stoppage in play. Second defensive pair. Second defensive pair. Come on, get a stoppage. We need a stoppage. 
Come on, or score. Come on. Oh. Third line. Third line. We're not going to get a stoppage, are we? Ugh. Son of a bitch. Third defensive pair. I guess now would be the time to pull the goalie, but we're about to lose the puck. Yep, and there it is. Second line. Son of a bitch. First defensive pair. And I got to pull the goalie. You can't believe it though. First period, no goals. And now the third period, no goals. But that second period was wild. Come on, pass it to him. Oh. Keep it. Come on. Right there. Oh my god, we actually tied it. Holy shit, was it Patrick Line? Oh my god. It was Patrick freaking Line. I can't believe it, dude. They never do this stuff. Like, especially like how scripted this game was against us. Oh my god. And now well, we're both gonna guarantee to get a point, which was probably I guess both of our worst nightmares, but actually really it's the best for us because if not we would have lost. So it was either we both get a point or we lose. Johansson with another assist and Andrew Kopp with another assist. And Oh. Uh, oh, and we're going on the power play. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How the man, how the tables have turned. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh. Damn. Man, I can leave the first and the rest of the way. Well, to overtime we go. So, we're still a point behind Nashville. Let's say score right here. Please don't score right here. Nice hit. There we go. Okay, overtime. I'll be right back. You gotta be fucking kidding me. He almost scored that shorthanded. Damn. No, we ain't changing yet. Mm. Alright, get the second line out. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, what a save. What a fucking save by Saros, dude. Two breakaways. What the fuck was this, though? Line A. What the hell were you doing? Look, it goes off his stick, and he's just like, oh, I get it. It's a line change, but are you fucking kidding me? And he don't even care. This is what I mean about the AI, dude. We've almost lost. You can't even blame that on me because I changed the line a long time ago. Bro, fucking change. Are you fucking kidding me? Again with the turnovers. My God. Now change up. Jeez. Get the thirds in. We're going to drain the thirds for now. I don't know how the fuck we haven't lost this game, dude. It scripted it to where they got the boom boom. It scripted it where they fucking gave us three penalties right in a row. Where they were on a five on three. They had two goals taken away from Nashville. Bro. Like. And like. I don't know how many fucking breakaways. Like. This shit is insane bro. This is the craziest game ever. 
Second line. That is the title of this video. The craziest game I've ever watched. You know? That, that's what it is. Come on. Oh. Damn it. Okay. I know I got to get the first out pretty soon. Whoa. Whoa. Get it. Get it. Nice hit. Watch out. Why do we still have four guys out? Oh, no. They're all changing. Go, go, go. My God. They could have easily had a breakaway and won this. Holy shit. No. Oh, my God. Dude, you can tell this is for the division, though, man. I didn't expect the game to be like this, though. I really didn't. Come on, right there, Line A scores! <laughs> yes, Patrick Line A, the hero. What a two goal performance, man. That just put him one step closer to getting 40 this year. Now it's possible. Was he got like 39, I believe? Yeah, because Taylor Hall got his 36. Dude, most insane game I've ever watched in franchise mode between the Washington one. Well,. Yeah, even more than the triple overtime thriller. I mean, that was just a, a thriller, but a lot of the parts were boring. This was the most insane one, dude, from the fact like that I really thought we were going to lose because it was being scripted, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll just show it to show you guys why sometimes I just stop recording, but maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't if it, games go like this, man. I, I Like, we should have lost that game just because the game wanted us to lose, and then, you know, I couldn't believe they took two goals away from them. Strom had two assists, Taylor Hall had a goal. And Patrick Line, you know he's got the first star with two goals, man. And we got the lead. Oh, wait, no, we're tied with Nashville now. That's the only thing that sucks about this. So this was the, you know, not the best outcome for us, but it's not the worst either. The worst for us would have been losing in regulation. And it's like, you know, somebody probably could think and say, well, I thought you said you didn't care about winning the division title. It's like, dude, I didn't until this game. Like, damn, my team made me care. <laughs> oh, man, how, how do they got the tiebreaker? We beat them in the season series. And we just beat them now. Unless they're doing it like how they did in real life, at least this year. I don't know how they do it every year, but like like the most regulation wins. Then, you know, that might be it. Maybe they got more regulation wins than us because we've gone to overtime quite a bit. We've won a lot and we've lost a couple, that's for sure. <sighs> man, what a game, dude. What a freaking game. I, I just got to check really quick how many goals Line A has now. Because I, I, I had to count it, right? It was overtime, not a shootout goal. Yep, he's got 39. Let's go. He's just got to get one goal in two games, man. Why do I got a feeling he ain't going to do it? <laughs> I hope not, man. Come on, man. Get one goal. That's all I need. You have 70 points for the season, and you'll have 40 goals, man. I want to see a second ever 40 goal season, and that'll be perfect. It will be perfect, man, if he can do that. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed watching this insane <laughs> this insane game and listening to me, you know, complaining and bitching and moaning about the game being scripted and then being happy when my team won, if you guys enjoyed that, I guess, uh, you know what to do. Leave a like and all that, subscribe and stuff, man. Lots more to come with this channel, that's for sure. So, trust me, it, it, it'll be worth it, you know. I don't beg for the subscription or the, you know, um, all that stuff, but, you know, hey. I'm going to tell you now, dude, like, seriously, leave a like, subscribe, man, because it's getting good, man. It'll get good, especially when those new games come out, which by the time this gets uploaded, it should be, like, right around the corner. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed watching the video, you know what to do. Peace out, everyone. Bye.